Hey there guys, this is Ivan here and today in this video I will show you how to install macOS High Sierra on your Windows PC through uh, the virtual box emulator. So everyone would like to have a macOS running on a Windows PC and it is also useful in many ways to explain how uh, macOS works. So to do that we need these three important things, the code for virtual box, the main disk image and the virtual box by Oracle. I will leave the links in the description, you can check them out. So moving on now let's unpack the RAR file which we have downloaded that is the disk image for macOS High Sierra and it takes quite a bit of time to unpack as the file size is really big and uh, save all the files on a particular folder so that you don't have to search for everything when you finish up and it's very important because that particular folder will serve as the um, main boot up folder for your macOS which will run on virtual box by Oracle. So here we sit, the extracting is almost done. So after extraction, the file size is around 10 GB, so do note the doubt. And now let's install VirtualBox by Oracle. So just click on it and agree to all the permissions so that you can install VirtualBox on your PC. And, actually, and about VirtualBox, it is an emulator just used to emulate different OSs on your desktop PC. It may be Mac OS, Linux, and you can also try win, uh, booting another Windows in virtual box. It's developed by Oracle and it's really a, a very useful tool. And now that we have virtual box and the, but the folder I told you to have everything in one, and I also have that. Now let's open up virtual box. And here we go, this is the main user interface of virtual box and told, told, tells me that there's an update but now let's just stick with this update and now click new and the, type the name of the OS which you're going to install and select macOS L Capitan on High Sierra and then continue and uh, my RAM is around 8 GB but uh, it's recommended to give 4 GB so that you can also use your PC at the same time simultaneously but now here I have given 6 GB so that I'm just going to use the Mac OS so more RAM is allocated to Mac OS. So now click next and uh, click use an uh, existing file and just browse the unpacked Mac OS file from your PC. It's a .vmdk file. So now you continue. So that's it. This is your main Mac OS uh, virtual box setup page. So from now on, you can you start to access the Mac OS? But before doing that, there are some things which you, which you should change, and the code you should run to make it work. So go to settings, and in settings. You should just now change the number of cores allocated to your PC and uh, I have 4 cores so I am just going to allocate 2 cores which seem a little bit low but if you have 8 cores go ahead and give 4 cores but don't give only 4 cores if you have 4 cores it will affect the performance of your PC and now just uh, deselect floppy disk because no one uses floppy these days and give ok now again go to settings and under display change the VRAM available available in this Mac OS to max 120 MB so now again click OK and now go to about and just check the version here I have 5.1.xxx so I'm going to use the codes which I showed earlier with the 5.1 on those that's it I will link in the description download them so close virtual box before you continue this and copy the codes for the 5.1.x and just give and create a new text document. And here is it. Now, before saving the file, you should just change the name of the 
a virtual okay, virtual machine used here. Here, the name of my virtual machine is Mac OS with OS caps. So I'm going to change the everything into Mac OS. So you should do you should do that. And I've done it. And now after finishing this, we should save the file as I do. Go to save as and save it as code.cmd. It is important because the .cmd file is able to run on, on itself. We don't have to go to command prompt and run it in each and every code. So this is an easy progress for you. Now save it and just close it. And now we have the .cmd file there and open that and run it as an administrator. This is a very important step and that as an administrator. So that's it. The code has been finished executing itself. And then now open virtual box and click on start to start your virtual machine. Before that, just check, you can check all the details about a virtual machine in this front page. And all the other virtual machines you add up will, will be in the left side. And now I click start and start virtual machine. And as this is the first boot up, it will take a really, really long time, guys. Don't just pick out, wait for it. So close the pop ups because those are not necessary until now. And here we go. If you see this code running, you have done the tutorial properly and it is a few steps from here we get your Mac booted and running and here we go our Mac is booting with the Apple logo on it bring the smile to my face and here we go. This is the initial setup but you find in every Mac and I'll just skip over this as fast as I can. So going through this setup and don't create an Apple ID or login to existing account. Do that after you set up and go into the desktop because the, it may cause some problem with your initialization. So just give a name and password and can give a hint as well. And here we go, a Mac is being set. And here we go, a Mac has booted. And these are the uh, tutorials that come in at the beginning. Just close them out. And as you see, a Mac has booted. And it is Mac OS 10.1 High Sierra, not the latest and greatest. So here we go. And as you can see, you can change this background and everything as you can do in a original Mac. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Do like the video and share this video and please subscribe to the channel. Peace.